Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Time was on my way. Got things to do myself. So long. Let us pray to the eternal fire. But it Best deal around. <laughs> what? Not swords. Show me what you have in stock. So long. Do you see what I do? A good day for commerce. Well, well, look who's here. The White Wolf himself in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? How's business? Really? That's the best you've got. That's like asking a fisherman if they're biting, or an old gran about her health. Business is booming. There's profit to be made from war, provided you've the know-how. 
Before Nilfgaard had even crossed the Pontar, I'd contracted for insured deliveries of wood and iron from Kovir. Reaped a sevenfold return on my investment. Nice. So you might think. But then there's the non-human poll tax, the church's tithe, war taxes, and my overhead. Subtract all that and you're left with a pittance. A dozen or so chests and no more. Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. How can I be of service? You play Gwent, don't you? Oh, sure. Because I'm a dwarf, is that it? Do you also believe I know every other bleeding dwarf in existence, and at the end of each day, I deepen the mineshaft in my cellar? So you play or not? Aye, I play. So play me. Stake a unique card, maybe? Why not?
Rightly recall the last time I was so thoroughly thrashed. The card's yours. Tried your best. Tell me, who else would have worthwhile cards? There's Marquise Serenity, for instance. She don't boast about it, but she has one of the best decks in town, and uses it damn well. I know what I'm talking about. hovel in a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. Footprints. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer.
letter and a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres. Forty five to twelve fifty four. Hmm, <laughs> satisfying click in the next room over, I think. Secret room, probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Instructions on how to build a bomb, signed by one Kalkstein. Instructions on how to build a bomb, signed by one Kalkstein. Sugar, and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Stain. Wyvern oil. Siri. Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was all right. Thanks. You can breathe easy now. In the future, they'll remember this. I can look after myself. Fine. You look after yourself, and I'll look after my interests. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So, I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was, and Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist, so... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. All right, I lied, but only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. 
But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half-truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never! Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. How you go with this thing? I was huffing a bit of my own business when suddenly puppy popped to the news. Oh, I've had enough of living. There's something in the wind. Oh! What a smack! What's this about? This Dwan sold Fistech to some young elves. A contaminated batch that killed every other user. Lies. They mean to kill me, steal my gold. Help me, please. What you sold was poison. Shame you weren't there to see the young lad and others expire amidst spasms. You, all of you, to an elf. You despise humans, seek vengeance on us. But can you fault us? Fault me for your civilization's downfall? Shut your mouth, Poisoner. 
Need to see if this man's actually carrying any fist tech. We've done that already. Checked everywhere, even his boots. Nothing. The bastard sold it all, which hardly makes him innocent. Don't see any proof this man sold anyone fist tech, let alone contaminated powder. Can't let you kill him. Then you too shall die, Vatgen. Shame you happened on our path and chose to stand in our way. Wandering around here. Oh, yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He, himself, he, uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. I was just told some brave fool turned up. When did you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in his shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Thanks. So long. Not the marks of a garcane or a flutter. Polish your turd. <coughs> Ooh.
Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Let's go. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Karadin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Guy's more trouble than the Ekimara. Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others, too. Uh, I only know of Vienne. What about Vienne? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. That was murder. Was that really necessary? Yes. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. Tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah, see you later.
All right, high time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? I'd prefer something concise. I had a friend, Aiden, a witcher from the School of the Cat. Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs, weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden, murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Karadin? The assassin's leader, and the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy, just your help. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now, let's go. The end. What do you want? We want to see Yad Karadin. <laughs> now, why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is it's changed. Carradine's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Carradine's band? Aside from me. Sleaze, Hammond and Lund. But they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tresigal, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund... Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to you then. This Sleaze, where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigal, the kind rich men frequent. Pours suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Silly's always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh once he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt's ease. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Solis. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... Do whatever you think's right, Lambert. Not here to preach morals. <laughs> Do what you think is right? Only one thing worse than cold-blooded murder. 
Hypocrisy. Informers, racist snitches. Vienne, bloody hell, what is it? They've come for me, Varen. I told you someone would sooner or later. Nessa tear. Shit. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige, try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Selyse. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where'll we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. the luckiest tavern in town. They even say the hangover. How about a few rounds of cards? Gwent specifically.
so pale of you. with magic. This is getting interesting. Different claw marks. Guess a few individuals feed here. Sealed. Surprised him. Guess I'm dealing with an old foglet hiding behind an illusion.
Any tidings? Monster's dead. Fog's dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give them cause to celebrate. Well, you've earned your reward. Take it, and fare you well. Hang on a minute. This is less than we agreed. Master Witcher, that beast, it kept me from gathering peat. And I'd still me family to feed. But a few crowns left now, and I've yet to buy new tools. Show some mercy. I'll pay ye, I will. Pay ye twice the fee, but in a week's time, once I've made up some of me losses. Fine, so be it. But you remember that I'll remember. You won't get out of paying this. Thank ye, Witcher. Thank ye kindly, my lord. My little bless ye. May ye be fruitful and... Get to work. You've only got a week. Come on.
Revolution. The downfall of civilization. Need some greetings, Master. Hear about the contract. Really got an imp problem? Or is that just an imp perfection in the notice? You ought not jest, Master Witcher. I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my stall. Alright, so what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. Might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. So, will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Make it worth my while and I will. Demand for witches is high, supplies low. I pick and choose my contracts these days. Fine negotiation on your part, Master. So be it. We'll call it agreed. Relax. I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. Thank you, Master Witcher. I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. Have mercy on me. Pick and choose while I've the inclination. Once I close this shambles down, you won't see Merchant was right. Actually does look like a giant cat. You ever guess you wares? The temple guard let even you into the city. Looks like the imp dropped some loot. Another track. Drop down into the moat. Trail ends here. Interesting. A letter? Well, well. Our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. matters. Need a good lead to track him down. Fire having a friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me for no reason at all. You's a non human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute.
Nice scent. And here I thought temple guards were unkempt boars. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me! <sighs> Always the same old shit. Hey, wait! Make friends with the bathhouse, because what's wafting up here? Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Damn, I look old. What? Lost your nerve? Please, stop! I surrender. Might be able to look like a witcher, but I won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. I don't kill him, true. But then not everybody applies my rules, and not everyone's got my conscience. So start stealing somewhere else. Far from Novigrad, preferably. Golden Age of Dopplers ended here a while ago. I know, but I thought they'd not catch me. I thought myself too smart. Serves me right. Might have learned this lesson the hard way. Time to go. Somewhere far away. But first, take this. As a token of my gratitude. So long, Witcher. Fleet to Maria too. Greetings, Master. Problem solved. Convinced the imp to go back to the countryside to tangle horse manes and piss in milk, as tradition ordains. And how would I know you speak the truth? No trophy, no reward. There better be one. Or you'll feel the invisible hand of the market smack you so hard you won't be able to sit down for a week. I'll give you half the agreed sum, no more and I'll not do business with you again. See, the honourable gentleman is not one to let a bargain pass. Fine. Show me what you got. So, what don't I got? Something for everyone, seek and you shall find. Cheap, too.
Come again. Cheap as it gets, right here. Whoa! Eternal fire will light our way. Greetings. What have you got to pawn? And how much do you need? What makes you think I need a loan? Taint a man that don't from time to time. And you don't look nor smell flush with coin. Just so happens I'm doing fine at the moment. Then maybe you'd like a look at what the less fortunate have forfeited. What would you say to a few rounds of Gwent? Hello there. What would you say to a...
Why are you even here? Same reason anyone comes here. Play a bit, have a good time. Invite only, mate. Shit out of luck. I think you're about to let me in. By all means, please. And you, wish me luck. Luck be with you at the tables. Anchoring to play, but I'm only interested in high stakes. I don't know you. Perhaps you have coin, perhaps not. Perhaps you can behave, perhaps you cannot. Stay out of trouble, you'll eventually play for high stakes. For now, plenty of tables for commoners upstairs. Don't lose it all too quickly. Leave me be! Another word out of you and I'll take you upstairs. No! Cards lining up today. A mutant? What the hell's a witcher doing here? See any drowned dead? Or other shit sids around here? Nope, no monsters. Great opportunity to play some cards. Clever man, eh? All right, we'll play, provided you've coin. I do. This tech. They've got the best powder in the city right here. Just wanna play. If you insist. I believe I will plow your ass like a cheap horse.
I'll not play you anymore. You're bad luck. Go ruin someone else. Look on the bright side. Unlucky at cards, lucky in love. And you been getting. May I join you? I've never seen you here before. Never seen you here either. You've clearly no notion who I am. Don't be clever with me. We don't like clever men around here. How did you even learn of this place? Men at the door let me in. Not good enough? No. Preferable if someone vouched for you. Soon. Until then, I'll have my eye on you. We done talking? I'd like to play. All right. Take a seat. Win. Don't you think I know that? Want a rematch? What with? You've left me high and dry. I'll not bet half a crown more. Getting good hands. Luck of the draw today. You might make better use of that luck then. We've a room for specially selected upstairs. Really big stakes there. If that's the case, I accept the invitation. Come with me. Private room for the chosen few. 
No one will disturb you here. Doesn't look too cozy. Not a comfortable place to play cards. Someone less trusting might take it for an interrogation room. Junior doesn't believe in miracles. This is where cheats learn just how much he dislikes being robbed. Work him over. Once you're done, wrap a nice thick chain around his legs and drop him in the pontar. has got me good. Bones are intact. Will you free me? You're not hurt all that bad. Let's talk first. Why are you here? <sighs> What's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well, kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See ya. He's sure to reward you. I wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians.
What happened, kid? They... they... <laughs> hey, wait! The great git! Grab him! Must be order. Non humans exhibit a natural inclination to. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Wiley, Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the Big Four. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Time was on my way. Got things to do.
We'd have done better to burn the blasted <laughs> Rather not think of what will happen when we tear down the barn. What's all this? Not your concern, that's what. Not an expert or anything, but you two look like you could use some help. Aye, it's true, we could. Barn's full up with some manner of beast. Barred them inside, but that won't hold long. And we'll be in a world of woe once they're loose. We're not rich, but cut the filth down, and we will pay you. Fine, I'll try to help you. We'll let you in the barn, then open the doors once it's over. Quick, Master Witcher, or they'll get out! Use that barn as a cemetery? Uh, no. Why'd you ask? Found human remains inside. Several sets. They're what drew the necrophages. Uh, they was... they was bandits. When it was just coin they took, we lived and let live, so to speak. But when they dragged Hedy to the barn, we wouldn't take no more. Grabbed our pitchforks and... Well, you've seen how it ended. Next time you kill someone, bury the bodies. Deep. Need to take care of these, too, or they'll attract more corpse eaters. We'll do it. Thank you, Master Witcher. Job's done. True enough. Here's your pay. And thanks for your help. Farewell. Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. Gonna walk in the camp now. Aye. Naturally. And you're gonna go look for hornbills. Aye. I'm going, indeed. A witch. Just what I'm bad. Geralt of Rivia. Safe and sound. Vernon Roach. Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I... You can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. 
Dismissed. You play Gwent, Roach? Yes, but there's no one to play against here. If you've got a deck, pull it out. Good luck. Grey looks.
Stop by sometime for another round. Just what our band of merry men, Geralt of Rip. A round of Gwen. Gladly. Good luck. Stop by sometime. Plan to fuck off. Yeah? Geralt of Rivia. A round of Gwen. Gladly. Good luck.
congratulations. Here. You earned the card. Know anyone else worth playing? I've heard of a man came through Novigrad recently. You might be interested to know he's also a witcher. Lambert, they call him. Old Lambert's a card sharp? Interesting indeed. Then I have a mate who's come up from the south. He likes cards. A rather refined player. But it seems he's better at being late. Wouldn't wait if I were you. They can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? Geralt of Rivia. Safe and sound. What do you do here? Hunt Scoia'tael? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoia'tael anymore? Temeri. That's what matters. How do you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. It's remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the Second Temerian Army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis's army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than Emir. So I decided I would mount my own fight. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm-hmm. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help, or do I need to keep looking? Hmm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenfurt. At a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. Best beware of the other side of the river. One false move, and you could be royally fat. You trouble me, Grey Dogs. A witcher. Just what our band of merry men. You trouble me, Grey Dogs. My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Your contact? Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him, were the circumstances any different. You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one, including you. Come on. Something's not right. Let's 
Let's see what. Checkmate. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher. Do you know why I play chess? For practice? To hone your thinking? No. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub, dub dub, dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? Yes, sire. Believe I do. You know shit. You're merely humoring me. I was not speaking literally. First hidden truth. A monarch is always surrounded by fools. Understand? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. Expected a Redanian spy. Had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you've an opportunity to emit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. I appreciate the gesture, Your Majesty. A king should be severe towards his foes, generous to his friends. Apart from which, I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness, as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach.
Faster. Come on. Best be worthy of one false we'll move. Pay for you could be one to me. It's true you kill kings. Geralt of Rivia. Safe and sound. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm. It's Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulberdale. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes, when they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Why Mulberdale? Why'd Vess go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. Don't trust Vess anymore? Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. Ah, oh, that's not the problem. Know what distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler? The uniform. It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, when to charge and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out, she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. All right, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me in Velen beneath the Hanged Man's Tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. Now, witches. They can't catch the pox. A witcher. You've troubled me, Grey Looks. You've been here, you've been there. Witcher. It's the village below. Black with Nilf guardians already. They're preparing to execute folk. No sign of Vess. Ah, she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. She's waiting for her moment. Probably attack after dusk once. Shh. What now? A trio, lightly equipped, sneaking closer. Over there, near the. Death to the Black Ones! Help me! 
Circa! Looks like we're too late. Geralt, we have to help. Follow me. Run, Roach. Come on, Roach. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. <coughs> Wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Vess, have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and what not exposed. You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Militale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your weapon. You'll get it back when you wise up, if you wise up. Move out! Ren. <coughs> 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 Uh-oh. Got yourselves a prisoner. We don't take prisoners. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did, and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. Roach is right. Besides, killing a defenseless... What is it with you, Roach? Did the Witcher take your stones? They're sadists! He's the occupier! I will explain later. You, Nilfgaardian, piss off. Morentai. Nes dirmad ava. Go! Before I change my mind. Ah, we should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help, you know where to find me.
Move it. Come on, Roach.
source of power. It's gotta be. Show me what you got. some. 